Let's do some calls of the day today, led by American Express. Downgraded to neutral from buy at B of A. The price target is 263. Uh, can we pull up a year-to-date chart of this stock, please? Because it's up 30% year-to-date, Carrie. Uh, it is at the top or near the top of best Dow performers. Right. So what do you make of this downgrade here, which is not on valuation or anything like that? Quote, we see limited incremental upside given potential for subdued billings volume growth and current pre Well, yes, they say the valuation is part of it, but it's the, the subdued billings that seems to play a greater role. Yeah, so AXP is a name that we trimmed recently. And again, not because it sells for a high multiple. It's 15 and a half times next year's earnings. But it's been such a strong performer because, as we've talked about, the experience, whether it's travel, hotels, concert tickets, lots of people use their American Express card for that. That could possibly be slowing. We've seen slowdown in airlines and in the hotel business. So we thought it made sense to reduce our weight because it got to be a, a large weight. However, this is still the premier company in the business, particularly at the high end. They've expanded their user base to many more um, millennials mm -hmm. and younger than that. So it has a great runway. It just got a little bit expensive and the weight was high for us. So we did a portfolio management decision. So Joe, what do you make of this? It's the second best Dow performer now. It was number one, but the run that 3M has been on has been unbelievable in and of itself, and, and that sort of eclipsed it. But nonetheless, it's still a huge gainer year to date. So most people come on the network, and when they have a position, they you know talk glowingly about supporting it. Amex is his. You never do that. Amex has treated never us very well. Talk glowingly about a position you have <laughs> ever. No, no, I don't. But <laughs> Amex has treated the strategy very well. Look, there's a lot of validity in what was written in this note. And I appreciate you pairing back your, your holding because if I had the flexibility, I probably would do the, the same. What I see that's somewhat concerning to me is a little bit of the moderation in the revenue growth. So if you go back and you study the last 36 months, you're talking about a company that was growing at 20 percent. OK, now what do we do with that? We begin to see a little bit of contraction in the growth and we're down to only 10 percent in the last quarter. That's somewhat troubling to me. So I have to tell you, I'm, I'm concerned about the position, uh, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. OK. Um, Wall Street Journal today, Kerry, says Charles Schwab wants to fix its struggling bank. Investors are skeptical. Are you skeptical? We're still very positive on Schwab. However, this has been a tough stock to own. If you look at the last couple of years, they had cash sorting, massive cash sorting, where their depositors or their clients wanted to have more than 0% interest rate, and they moved into higher interest vehicles. That was a big hit for the, the earnings. Uh, Ameritrade, that deal has sort of now been incorporated. We think we're starting to get the benefit from that. The cash shorting is almost over. They're cutting back on the bank investment because they should, because it's not a part of the business that's really generating a lot of income from them. They're still getting more depositors. And as the market goes higher, people do open accounts and they do trade and then they use the services. And that's where they're making incremental uh, revenue and earnings. And over the next five years. We think this is a company that can grow earnings in mid-double digits. Okay. CrowdStrike. Kings. Okay. They're uh, back. I feel like we talk about <laughs> it almost every day uh, because there seems to be a new call on it every day. Today it's J.P. Morgan. They say it's a top pick. They say it's overweight. The price target's 330 bucks. It's meaningful upside from here. They say, quote, the scale of the outage was meaningful, but our review of comments so far this earnings season, in addition to conversations we've had with partners and IT experts, reflect more efficient recovery efforts from the disruption than headlines seem to imply. In other words, the story isn't as bad as the headlines would have you believe. So you should buy the stock now and expect it to go to 330. What do you think? I think the management team of CrowdStrike, if there's a management team out there that could affect and navigate that type of positive outcome, it is the management team of CrowdStrike. I think the cybersecurity names are back once again. It's funny, a couple of weeks ago, you and I had the conversation, and I said, if I was trading CrowdStrike, I would sell it. 
well, I didn't want to trade CrowdStrike, and maybe trading CrowdStrike is not the right thing that you should be doing. You should be investing around what you see as a very powerful catalyst and thesis, and that's cybersecurity. That allowed me to stay committed to the position, allowed me to stay committed to Palo Alto Network, which has recovered all of the loss from the late February, uh, February spending fatigue, uh, fatigue mm -hmm. earnings report, and let's not lose sight of Fortinet. Fortinet has had a very strong recovery once again. Okay. And if you study those three companies, Fortinet probably is the best balance sheet. United Health, Oppenheimer says the rally above 550 marks a multi-year breakout. Yeah. That's yours. So, yeah. I mean, that was I your final right. trade yesterday, too. Exactly, it was. So, um, United Health suffered, as I mentioned, from a cyber attack. They've gotten beyond that. I think that things have calmed down, and we're seeing growth in earnings. And if we don't have a bad recession, this is a company that builds on employees because that's who they provide insurance to. And their HMO is one of the best, if not the best, optim in the business. So we see continued growth in both revenue and earnings, and we like the stock here. It's a safe play in the healthcare space, which is improving. Okay.